Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, permutation groups, and more specifically, we are going to discuss about uh, permutation group on three symbols, and that permutation group on three symbols will be denoted by will be denoted by S three. S three. Okay, this S three is uh, three stands for three corners of a triangle. So I'm going to take a triangle, and I have three three vertices of a triangle, and this is an equilateral triangle. This is not any any arbitrary triangle, but it is an equilateral triangle with uh, equilateral triangle. So if I'm talking about S four, it means that it is a polygon of four sides. Four vertices. I mean to say, and it will be a square. All the sides have to be what? All the sides have to be equal. So for S three, it means that we are going to talk about triangles with all the three sides equal, which is a, which is in particular called as a equilateral triangle. And I'm going to look at this equilateral triangle, and I'm going to what is S denote for? S denote for symmetries. So I'm going to write here what is S three? S three means symmetries. Of equilateral triangle. Now we are going to see how to find the symmetries of equilateral triangle. Okay. Now in this uh, in this part, what you are seeing right now. Now you can see the equilateral triangles uh, are shown on the screen, and this left side equilateral triangle, which is having vertices, I have labeled the first vertex as one. Second label is two, and the third label is three. This equilateral triangle I'm going to keep fixed. Okay, this will be my reference uh, triangle, and this equilateral triangle, which I have a pin in center, that equilateral triangle I'm going to move. Okay, now observe that the first vertex, which is over here, I've labeled it one, that is exactly matching with a one of the second moving. Triangle, so I will say that one goes to one in this way. The second thing is, look at this: two goes to the same corner. Two goes to two, and here I have three goes to three. Okay, so here the two equilateral triangles are actually the same. There is no difference between the two equilateral triangles. The labels are also the same. The top label is one, the left label is two, and the right label is three. Okay. Now what am I going to do is I am going to take this the second equilateral triangle and I am going to rotate it once in the clockwise fashion. You can rotate in any fashion, but here I'm going to rotate this equilateral triangle in the clockwise fashion. The center of equilateral triangle is fixed. So when I rotate that triangle, what will happen? Look at here. I'm going to rotate it now. So let me use it. So let me rotate it now. Once. So it is rotated, and what has happened after one rotation? I have just performed one rotation. After performing that rotation, what you can see is the label one is now going to one goes to two, whereas two goes to three, and three goes to one. So I will repeat: one goes to two, two goes to three. And three goes to one. You have to match the top labels with the top labels, the left label with the left label, and the right label with the right label. So this was the answer that one goes to two, two goes to three, and three goes to one. When I rotated clockwise, how many times? Only once. Now I will rotate it further more. When I rotate it once more, now this rotation is how many times? So from the original position, we have rotated it two times, right? So what will I get now? Then I will get one goes to three, two goes to one, 
and 3 goes to 2. I will repeat when I rotated it twice from the original position. What I got is 1 goes to 3, 2 goes to 1, and 3 goes to 2. This was rotation twice. Not only this, I can now remove the spin. And what I will do is I will bring the triangle to the original position. So this is 1, 2, 3. Is 1, 2, 3. Now what I will do is I will take, consider this line. Consider this line. This is a vertical line which is passing through the vertex 1 and the midpoint of the line segment which is joining 2 and 3, that line segment. And I will reflect the triangle along this line. I will take reflection of this triangle about this line. Means I will keep this line fixed and I will reflect the triangle. So when I do the reflection of the triangle, the labels 1, 2, 3 are, are there itself. So when I reflect it, I will flip it. And when I flip it, what has happened? The positions of 2 and 3 have change so what is this reflection about the line passing through one what has happened in that in that one is going to one two is becoming now three and three has become two so one goes to one two goes to three and three goes to two this is the reflection about the line passing through 1. Let me bring it to the original position again. And now what I will do is, instead of reflecting it about this line, about this line, I am going to reflect it about this line. This line. The line which is passing through 2. Okay. When I reflect it about 2, what am I going to do is I am going to reflect it, keeping 2 fixed, I am going to reflect it so 2 will remain there itself, but 1 and 3 have interchanged the position. Can you see that? So this means that 1 goes to 3, 1 will become 3, 2 will remain fixed because I have reflected it along 2. So 2 will not change the position and 3 has become 1. Basically, 1 and 3 have exchanged their position when I reflected it about this line which is passing through 2. Okay. Now I will take keep 3 fixed. I will bring it to the original position. And I'm again going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to reflect it along the line which is passing through 3. three and when I reflect it along line which is passing through 3, 3 will be fixed. But 1 and 2 will change the positions. So let me reflect it now, keeping 3 fixed. I've just flipped it. So 3 is remaining as it is and 1 and 2 have changed the positions. This means that 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1 and 3 goes to 3. So 3 remains 3, 1 goes to 2 and 2 goes to 1 and 3 remains 3 as it is. Okay, so this means that we have found out all the possible symmetries of a triangle. Now, there is no other way in which you can place this triangle, this blue color triangle, in this outline triangle. You keep it anyhow, you keep it in any fashion. We have already covered that particular fashion. You keep it in any fashion, all possible fashions of keeping this equilateral triangle on that black border is now completed. So now these are called what? These are called the symmetries of this equilateral triangle. So when we write down the symmetries of the triangle, we will now write them in a proper format. The first thing that we saw was I'm writing symmetries of that equilateral triangle. So 
So the first thing is that the triangle ABC was kept as it is. The triangle 1, 2, 3 was kept as it is. So there was no movement in both the triangles. So 1 was kept at 1, 2 was kept at 2, and 3 was kept at 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1 is going to 1. This is how I will read. 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, and 3 goes to 3. In the second part, what we did is we rotated the triangle once clockwise and that rotation was by angle 120 degrees and in that case, the triangle 1 to 3 got converted into in this fashion. 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 1. This was rotation clockwise once. by how many degrees by 120 degrees why is it 120 degrees because this is the center the angle between them is how much this angle is 120 degrees so that was the angle of rotation the third is i have rotated it twice that's why i'm writing row two which is one two three the original triangle one two three after rotating two times we got that 1 goes to 3 and 2 goes to 1 and 3 goes to 3 goes to 2. This was rotation. This was no rotation. It was kept as it is. The, the triangle 1, 2, 3 was as it is on its position. 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2 and 3 goes to 3. Rotation once and rotation twice. Anti -clock, uh, I'm sorry, clockwise by 120 degrees each. The next thing that we saw was reflection and that reflection was a line which was passing through the point one. So in that case, when I had reflected it from the point one, one, two, three gave up the solution that the point one remains fixed. One goes to one, but two and three interchange the position. So two goes to three and three goes to two. The So this was reflection about reflection through I mean to say about the line passing through one the next one was mu 2 which was reflection about the point 2 so the point 2 was fixed that will not change but 1 and 3 exchange the position and that became 3 and 1 so this is the reflection about line passing through 2. The sixth thing is mu 3, which in which 3 was kept fixed. 3 was as it is, but 1 and 2 exchanged their positions and that became 2 and 1. And that was reflection about the point 3. So we have got six symmetries of a triangle of an equilateral triangle these are called symmetries of equilateral triangle and what are the six symmetries i will note them down first is row zero means do nothing to the triangle row one means it is rotation once row two means rotation twice mu one means reflection about one mu2 is reflection about 2 and mu3 is reflection about 3 symbol and this set is a set of symmetries of an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle has three sides and that is why it is said to be s3 which is symmetries of a equilateral triangle so now we will learn how to uh, multiply two permutations so let me write the elements of s3 again the elements of s3 were the first permutation was uh, row zero, which is uh, which is saying that one two three is kept as one two three itself. The second element is row one, which is rotation, and that row one was one two three, 
becomes 2, 3, 1. The third is rotation twice, which is denoted by root 2, where 1, 2, 3 becomes 3, 1, 2. The fourth is reflection about the symbol 1, where 1 remains fixed and 2 and 3 are reflected along that line. The next one is mu 2 which is reflection along the symbol 2. So 2 is fixed and 1 and 3 will change their positions. And last one is mu 3, which is 1, 2, 3, where 3 is fixed and 1 and 2 will interchange their signs, interchange the places. So this is the group S3 and the operation that we are going to use is the composition operation. So I'm going to use this composition operation and now we will see how to take two permutations. So each of them is called as permutation. So S3 has six permutations and those six permutations are row naught, row one, row two, mu one, mu two and mu three. Now we will see how to take composition of any two permutations. So we'll at randomly we will pick any two permutations and try to multiply them. So I will write find row 2 composite mu 3. Now how will I do row 2 composite mu 3? I will first write what is row 2. Row 2 is 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2 composite mu 3. Mu 3 is 1, 2, 3. 3 is fixed and 1 and 2 will interchange the sign okay now just observe how i'm going to multiply them when i multiply them i will first write without doing any calculation i straight away write one two three as the original numbers these are the original numbers one two three what happens to one two three we are going to write the output over here so what will happen when i multiply row two with mu three how will i find these three numbers now I'm showing you the method. I will go to the permutation which is sitting on the right hand side. This permutation. I will look at this permutation first. In this permutation, I will look at 1. 1 goes to 2. And then I will go to the previous permutation. And 2 goes to one. So the final output is one. Hello, sir. Ha. Huh. Mu three to me wrong relation. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So finally, one goes to one. Now let us go for finding the person which is for two. Where will two go to? So how will I do that? this person I want to find. So 2 goes to 1 and 1 goes to 3. So the output is 3. Let's go to the next one. Three goes to 3 and 3 goes to 2. So finally, I will get the output is 1, 2, 3 and 1, 3, 2. And who is this particular person? Who is 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2? This is mu 1. Because you can see here, 1 is fixed. Let me do one more example. In a slightly different manner, find mu1 composite row 3. What is mu1? 1? 1 to 3, 1 is fixed, and 2 and 3 will change the position. Composite row 3. Row 3 is, there is no row 3, sorry. Let me take row 1. Row 1 means 1, 2, 3. 
and 231 I'm doing this now in a different fashion if the earlier fashion was not clear to you go to the person on the right hand side one goes to according to row one look in row one one goes to two shift and come to here now once the job is over shift and now look in this permutation mu one where is two going to in this permutation in this permutation two is going to three this means eventually one goes to three one is going to two under row one and under mu one two is going to three so finally one goes to three let us go see where two goes to now two goes to three if i am looking at row one i will switch then i will go in mu one and i will ask where is three going to three goes to two when i'm looking at mu one so eventually two goes to two where does three go to if i look at row one three will go to one i will switch to mu one where is one going to one is also going to one so three will go to one so this means that this is nothing but one to three and three to one is uh, is mu two because two is fixed so from this two calculations we have found out that row two composite mu three is coming to be mu one and mu one composite row one is coming to be mu two and you can do many such calculations and find out what different different answers you will get you will always get the answers between this particular set